All right, welcome back to another Wiley Manager Crash Course. And on this week's show, Bob, we uh, we had some viewer mail that came in. We did, yeah. We didn't even it wasn't even from our mom. <laughs> so, viewer mail, moms, we have viewer, we have different mothers. <laughs> viewer viewer mail from Matt. So let me read you what uh, what Matt wrote. Cause this is what we podcasted on this week. Where Matt writes, "Hey, Wiley Manager team, thank you very much for the podcast. I know how to motivate one person at a time, but my question would be, how do you motivate a whole team that has no career aspirations and hardly any motivation to achieve their goals?" Poor team Matt. transplant, this Jed. <laughs> this team, team transplant. Get rid of the whole team. Replace them all. Team transplant. So why don't we give folks a bit of a flavor as to how we tried to help Matt out? Okay. Well, we obviously didn't suggest a team transplant. There's five things that we're suggesting you can do to motivate your team, Matt, or anybody else that finds yourself in Matt's uh, Matt's place. First one is figure out what makes these people tick. So uh, people always behave. Uh, their behavior always makes sense to them. So why are they behaving this way? And Matt is a, is a leader that's new to this team. Uh, so he inherited somebody else's team. And maybe they have historically not been led in such a way where they're motivated to do anything, right? So right. Uh, Matt's got to try to figure that out. The second one is make sure that... Uh, that these people have clear expectations. So as a leader, the most important thing you can do, especially when you first join a team, is is, is make sure that people have some idea what it is that you want them to do for you. Yeah, especially right? when you're new. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, number three, make sure that uh, there's consistent reinforcement of consequences. So again... Um, uh, are we re- rewarding and reinforcing the the, uh, the behaviors that we want? And are we addressing when we see behaviors we don't want? Are those being addressed? Quite often, Jed, a root cause of uh, poor team performance is the fact that uh, poor performance hasn't been addressed. And you and I are only going to bust our hump for so long if we know our yeah. peers aren't pulling their weight, right? Uh, number four, healthy, comp- healthy competition. Right. So, again, you don't want to, you know, have a public display of something god awful. But at the same time, uh, promoting some healthy competition can can often push you ahead as a as a team. And uh, number five, when everything else fails, when you've done uh, all the other stuff, you've given people every opportunity to succeed and they still choose not to, then it might be time to consider changing out one or two team members. Uh, Don't, uh, contrary to my joke earlier, uh, don't try to change out the whole team. That will reflect very poorly on you when it all goes horribly wrong, and inevitably it will if you're trying to uh, change out eight people. Yeah, that would be a tough task. Yes, it would. A couple other places that we pointed uh, folks to, uh, we had have a lot of podcasts uh, back at the Wiley Manager website as well as on iTunes. So we had one on capturing discretionary effort that we thought might be helpful for folks in this situation. Yep. Did one on called uh, Good Boss, Bad Boss. Be, be a, a Better, better boss. boss. Yep. And then we talked about uh, managing the different generations in the workplace too. So we did one on Generation X and one on managing baby boomers. Those folks might have different motivations as to what might make them tick in an organization. So there's some hints on there for you as well. So uh, uh, if you have other, you know, if you yourself have some questions, have something that's ticking you off at the office, please reach out to us and perhaps we can uh, we can address your question on the next Wiley Manager podcast. We so can make you famous via, via Facebook, via LinkedIn. Uh, call Bob at home. Sure. He, he'd, he'd appreciate that. Yeah, in the middle let, of the night. Let us know what's going on, and we will do our best to be helpful. All right. We'll see you next time, Jed. Thanks, Bob. <laughs>